Hi, and welcome to the Margaret E. Hagen Public Library. I'm Miss Jennifer, and today, for Once Upon a Story Time, we're celebrating Feed the Birds Day on February 2nd by reading a story from a year full of stories, 52 folk tales and legends from around the world, written by Angela McAllister and illustrated by Christopher Core. The story we're reading today is The Bird Wife, an Inuit story. Inchong was unhappy because he could not find a wife. So he packed his belongings into his sled and left home to search elsewhere. After many days traveling across ice and snow, he came to the land of birds. There he found a lake in which many geese were swimming, and on the shore stood as many pairs of tiny boots. Ichyong stole a pair and hid them in his coat. When the geese came out of the water, they found one pair of boots was missing. At once they took fright and flew away, but one of the flock remained. Ichyong stepped out of his hiding place. I will give you your boots, he said, if you will be my wife. It is not in my nature to be your wife, said the goose. Very well, said it young, and he turned away, but the goose called him back. It is not my nature, she said, but I'll be your wife if you return my boots. So it young set the boots before her, and when she put them on, she changed into a woman. Ichyong and his wife traveled from the land of the birds to a village by the sea, as she wished to live by water. There they soon had a son. Ichyong earned the respect of his neighbors, for he was the best whale hunter in the village. However, his wife would never help the other women cut up the whale carry the blubber to their homes. My food is not from the sea, she told Jiang. My food is from the land and will not touch the meat of the whale. You must eat, insisted Jiang. It will fill your stomach. But his wife only cried and walked by the shore alone. Jiang didn't notice that she began to collect feathers along the shore. One day, when she had enough, she fixed them between her fingers and the fingers of her son, and they were both turned into geese and flew away. When Ichino saw his wife and son fly beyond the clouds, his heart was broken. He no longer wanted to hunt or eat. He harnessed his dogs to the sled and set off to search for them. Ichino traveled across ice and snow for many months until he came to a lake where a man was chopping wood. Each wood chip that flew from the man's axe turned into a salmon and leapt into the lake. Have you seen a woman and a boy? asked Ijun. Yes, said the man. She lives in an island in the middle of the lake, but she has a new husband now. Ijun stared across the water in dismay. I must see her, he said, but I have to no kayak. I'll help you, said the man. Give Ijun the backbone of a salmon and told him to lay it in the water. Ichyong did as he was told, and the backbone of the salmon turned into a fine kayak, which carried him across the lake. When he reached the shore, he saw that the child and his mother outside their house. Come here, um, pleaded Young. You are my wife. It is not in my nature to be any man's wife, Young said the woman. Her new husband appeared with a box in his hands. Out of the box flew a thousand feathers which stuck fast to them. Then the woman, the child, and her husband were transferred into geese and flew away, leaving Etienne standing alone. Thank you, and that was another Once Upon a Story Time. I'm Miss Jennifer. Please join me next time.